This question here it says, find the roots of the following quadratic equations by factorization. Now here it says roots. Roots means we have to find out zeros. Means those values or that value of x which makes this quadratic equation equals to zero. So we say roots or we say zeros, both are same thing. We have these five equations. We'll try to find their roots or zeros through factorization. This one here, we already know how to factorize quadratic equations. Uh, this will be x squared minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 equals to 0. Minus 5x plus 2x gives you negative 3x. Negative 5x plus 2x gives you negative 10x squared. So let's take x as common. So x minus 5. We take plus 2 as common. So this is x minus 5. So x plus 2 and x minus 5 equals to 0. So here roots will be x can be either negative 2 or x can be 5. These two are the answers. Means if I here, if I replace this x by negative 2, it becomes 0. 0 into this gives you 0. If I replace this x by 5, so this will be 5 minus 5, 0. 0 into this gives you 0. So roots are x is negative 2 or x as 5. If you replace x in this equation here by either negative 2 or by 5, both we make this equation as 0. We can do a quick check here x square let's take x as negative 2 so negative 2 whole square minus 3 into negative 2 minus 10 equals to 0 negative 2 whole square gives you 4 negative 3 into negative 2 gives you positive 6 minus 10 equals to 0 4 is 6 is 10 minus 10 0 0 equals to 0 so this is our left hand side equals to our right hand side so negative 2 justify let's take 5 now so this would be 5 square minus 3 into 5 minus 10 equals to 0. 5 square gives you 25 minus 15 minus 10 equals to 0. So 25 minus 15 minus 10 gives you 25 equals to 0. So this is 0 equals to 0 means left hand side equals to right hand side. So 5 is also justified. So roots for this equation would be negative 2 and 5. Let's take up this one here. This can be 2x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 6 equals to 0. So I'll take 2x as common. So this gives me x plus 2. Here I'll take negative 3 as common. So this gives me x plus 2 equals to 0. So here it is 2x minus 3. x plus 2 equals to 0. So you have to find out roots. So I can write it as this way. 2x minus 3 equals to 0, 2x equals to 3, so x would be 3 over 2, and this one here, x plus 2 equals to 0, so x would be negative 2. So root of this equation would be 3 over 2 and negative 2. This one here, root 2 x square, 5 root 2 multiplied together gives you 10, so if I split this this way, root 2x squared plus 5x plus 2x plus 5 root 2. Now there is one more trick required here. This is root 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2 as it stays as it is. Root 2 into root 2 gives you 2x plus 5 root 2. Now let's solve this. I take x as common. So this comes to root 2x plus 5. Here I take root 2 as common. So this comes to root 2x plus 5. Now if I take root 2x plus 5 as common, this gives me x plus root 2. So roots would be root 2x plus 5 equals to 0, root 2x is equal to negative 5, x would be negative 5 over root 2, and this is x 
plus root 2 equal to 0. So x would be negative root 2. So zeros are negative 5 over root 2 and negative root 2. These are the zeros for this quadratic equation. Let's move into this one. This can be 2x squared minus x over 2 minus x over 2 plus 1 over 8 equals to 0. Okay. Let's take 2x as common. So this gives you x minus x over 2 divided by 2x will be x over 2 into 1 over 2x. This will be 1 over 4 minus, let's take 1 over 2 as common. So, x over 2 divided by 1 over 2 gives you x over 2 into 2, those two cancel. x minus 1 over 8 divided by 1 over 2 gives you 1 over 4. 1 over 8 divided by 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 8 into 2 means 1 over 4. 1 over 4. So this can be x minus 1 over 4 as common and this will be 2x minus 1 over 2. So x minus 1 over 4 equals to 0. So x is equal to 1 over 4. And this is 2x minus 1 over 2 equals to 0. So 2x is equal to 1 over 2. x will be equal to 1 over 4. So x equals to 1 over 0. That's the root for this equation here. This one here. This is 100x square minus 10x minus 10x plus 1 equals to 0. If I take 10x as common, this gives me 10x minus 1. If I take 1 as common, this gives me 10x minus 1. So 10x minus 1 into 10x minus 1. So 10x minus 1 equals to 0. 10x is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1 over 10. This one here, nx minus 1 equals to 0. So 10x equals to 1. x is equal to 1 over 10. So roots are 1 over 10 and 1 over 10 for this quadratic equation here. Alright?